All right, uh, what up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy G Content right here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your first beat in Logic Pro X. So let's assume that you've never touched Logic Pro, okay? Let's assume that this is your first very time, your very first time to open up the Logic Pro X on your Mac computer, okay? So today I'm going to be showing you how to make your first beat. Because you know what happened? When you first download a program, a lot of times you don't even know how to use it. You don't know what's this, what's that. So don't worry about that. Just open your program. Let's just start from the scratch. So right now I'm now going to start from the scratch because I don't want to lose the audio, but let's see. So just open up your project and then open what they say. To, um, uh, I believe it says... Uh, Whatever they say. Okay, let's go straight to the work, guys. So what you need to do, first of all, just keep your metronome as it is, okay? And then come right here on right corner where this thing right here is. Just click on this thing, okay? Now you see all those kind of samples and instrumentals, okay? So what you need to do is try one of them, click on one of them, and you'll hear how it sounds. Okay, that's a bass, okay? So now you can see all the names right here. If you read them, this is acoustic strum, like somebody's strumming the guitar, acoustic guitar, okay? Okay, so let's make just a love song, okay? All right, I already love this acoustic strumming guitar. Let's try this number two. Right, so just take this one, press on it, drag and drop in your editor, okay? And then say import it. So that's the first step. Now let's hear it. So now our metronome is super high, 120. So I'm going to bring it down. You can type it in, let's say, 89. And now let's hear it. That is a little bit too low, so I'm going to bring it to 94. All right, I love that. So right now you can um, just drag and drop and multiply them. What you have to do on your Mac, click option, click and hold, and then left click on your mouse and then drag and drop. Boom, it's that simple. And now we have like four bars, okay? Now, this is the melody. All right, uh, now let's add more things, okay? Now let's go for the, for the drums. Uh, so, right here, you can go to instrumental to see all those kind of things. Let's see all drums. Now we have a lot of drums. So you can see all the names, kind of drums. This is Jazzy, Jazzy drums, okay? Now let's see something different. Oh yeah, I love these vibes. Or you have to do the same thing, drag and drop to the editor. I don't know how they call this. Okay, now you can do the same thing. Just hold down the option key and then drag, drop, release. Now let's hear only two things. Now we can see the drums doesn't really suit our melody. Now we gotta look for other drums, more drums. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this one sounds a little bit nice. Let's try this one. It's just, you gotta have 
the patience to be trying, okay? I think it's a little bit too fast. Let's go to 88. Okay, guys, now I see the problems. Let's remove this melody. I'm gonna start with drums, okay? All right, now just do the same thing, okay? Just hold on the option key and then on your left click, just drag and drop. Now that's copy and paste, okay? So now let's look for the beautiful melody. Now we can see, um, let's go to um, genre. Um, let's go to um, what? Hip hop. Now let's hear this. Oh, they have a lot of cold drums right here. I might consider deleting this, but we gotta make things simple and clear, okay guys? So let's look for the melody. So let's go to electric piano. I love these pianos. They are really chill, okay? So we have to do just track and drop them. But this one is eight bars, so we all have to copy and paste. Now let's hear it together. All right, now the melody is more beautiful, but the drums are a little bit not too good, okay? So what I gotta do is to delete them. Yo, so this is, now let's get drums. Now, by this time, let's get a, um, let's get hip hop. Let's get hip hop. Yeah, hip hop, they have some nice drums in here. Oh, that's so good. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Oh Oh yeah, I'm gonna get the first one. I'm gonna put it right here. And now let's hear it. Yo guys, so we can see, now by only dropping two samples, two pack, now we have the, almost the full beat. Now guys, that's the easiest way to get started making beats in Logic Pro X, okay? You don't need a lot of stuff. What you have to do, let me start from the beginning. You only need to click on this arrow right here, on the right corner, okay? Click on here, and then you'll see a lot of things. You can go to instrumental, you can go to genre, descriptions, and a lot of stuff. You see Afghanistan, Arab, float, Africans, wherever things you want, guys. They have a lot of thousands, I might say thousands and thousands of samples. Now it's really difficult to even reach to the really end. Okay, guys, so that's how you can make 
a bit in Logic Pro X if you just get started and you don't know how to do it or how to do anything in Logic Pro X, okay? So guys, just remember, go to Instrumental, choose whatever you want. <laughs> Yeah, they really have good things in here. You see, it's a lot of stuff. And you can choose specific sounds. Let's say old drums. And then you can press these orange things to eliminate it. Okay? So, you, they, they have a lot of synths in here too. See this. I love synth. So, let's try to do, to mute, I'm going to mute this. And then let's try dropping this on our beats. Now let's hear it. And the good thing about this, you can edit it in piano roll. I used to call this piano roll. Go back. I mean, when I was using FL Studio, I don't know what they use. Oh, it's piano roll, the same thing. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, now let's hear it. You can edit it if you want to. So guys, that's dope. Let's try one more. All right, this is more like type ADM things, but let's hear it all together, okay? Right, guys, it's that simple. Okay, let's add more, 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 more. Let's have fun. So if you just, if you just get started, you don't know how, what to do and what, whatever, just come right here, play with it, okay? I just pressed my piano by accident. Let's try more simple. Oh, these sound like a movie, <laughs> but it's too short. But let's try it out. And you can edit this too. That's like a MIDI. It's not like something recorded or something. You can change it. Now I just uh, messed it up. All right, let's hear that part. Ooh, that's cool. Now we can put a. Now we can put a lot of these. They are like the same kind of things. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna drop all these. Oops, I messed up, guys. I messed up. Now let's hear that. Oh yeah, now you can see guys, it's that simple. Okay. So in conclusion, if you just downloaded Logic Pro X and you don't know which is which is which, why is this? What is this? So what you have to do, just take it easy, guys. Don't overwhelm yourself, okay? Don't put a lot of pressure on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. What you have to do, just come to this button to the right corner. Just click right here. Let me remove this. And you'll see something like this, okay? And then you can choose anything, drums, drag and drop the drums on here and start playing with it. And then you can choose all lot of kind of things, specific synths, electric piano, okay? Clavinet, mallet, shaker. They have congas too. Congas is like some kind of, you know? Yeah, they have all those Cuban and Afro things, okay? So don't be hard on yourself. Like, oh, this is too hard. I was like that too when I just first got started, okay? First of all, I was using Apple Studio for years, over four or five years. And then recently, I just bought a Mac. I'd be like, okay, now let's try because I've been hearing a lot of stuff about Logic Pro X. And I said, okay, Logic Pro X is good for mixing. And I can still use Apple Studio to make beats. But I mean, Logic Pro X, it's also easy to make beats because sometimes the piano rolls, it's good, it's awesome, just like Apple Studio. But 
yeah, that's all, guys. Don't be hard on yourself. Just come here, play with things, and get the idea of how things work, okay? And then play with it. Take your time. Even hours, few minutes. Just play with it. Start experimenting with it. Okay, guys. So now this is our final product. Now, see you next time.